All right, Kaleidoscape System upgrade, unboxing and hands-on overview number two. This is a Compact Terra 12 terabyte movie server. Let's take a look at it. So this little video series is going to come in threes. I already did the unboxing, uh, hands-on overview and such of the Strato C movie player. I've got the Terra server next and number three will be the rack mount system that puts both of these together nice, tight, and compact in a single 1U rack space. But um, I've been a Kaleidoscape user for a long time. I've owned uh, multiple versions and iterations of their products, the individual Strato movie player, the Strato S, and I've formerly owned a Strato C and a larger scale Terra movie server. Now, I did kind of downgrade and side graded myself out of the bigger Terra that I had, figuring it's a little more capacity than I need. My Kaleidoscape movie library is huge, probably on the order of like 1,300 movies or so right now. I was lucky enough to get into the platform before Ultraviolet went away, so I had a whole bunch of rights transfer in there. I did a bunch of disc to digital and such along the way as well, and I've absolutely taken advantage of all the sales that pop up in the case store. So I've got way more movies in this platform than I would ever really intend to keep locally. I had a 24 terabyte in the larger Terra chassis, and it just felt like a lot. Four hard drives, bigger, uh, always on, just, and it was nowhere near enough to hold all of my movie library to begin with, so I figured why not kind of back up, side grade over to a Strato S. There'd be a whole lot less expensive that way, and so I did, but I found the individual Strato S to be fairly constraining. Um, I found six terabytes to be a little small, as I went, as I got it actually, and I was went through my movie collection, picking stuff that I wanted to have resident to look at, I, I barely made it into the S's before I had filled the six terabyte up. So I definitely felt the need to want to have a little more space locally in my Kaleidoscape system. But again, I'm not looking at a 72 terabyte Terra. I'll never spend that kind of money on local storage. And that's actually one of the big misconceptions with the platform is you don't need to spend that kind of money in order to have that much local storage Unless, fine, if you have it, sir, spend it, blow it, awesome. But the downloads, particularly with the Terras, are so fast that you can cycle content. You can download a 4K movie in somewhere between maybe 10 and 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. I've got 500 megabit service, and I'm expecting probably to get a 4K movie in about the 12 minute mark, which makes it fast enough to be able for the family to get together and say, hey, let's watch a movie tonight. Whose pick is it? I wanna watch that movie. Oh, we don't have it downloaded right now or we haven't purchased it yet in the case store, let's buy it, trigger the download. Okay, now kids, go put your pajamas on. Um, we'll go make some popcorn. Let's meet in the room in 15 minutes, which is how long it's gonna take us anyway. And bam, the movie's ready to go. With the individual Strato S that I had, that movie download time was more like 45 minutes. And that, that blew out of the water, really, our ability to use the Kaleidoscape system effectively because we found ourselves in a lot of situations whereby we were, in that, we were in that situation of saying, oh, let's watch a movie, who's pick, pick it. Oh, it's not downloaded yet. 45 minutes, that's too long. Let's just stream it. And why go through all the trouble of building this awesome theater room and I just did all these home theater 2.0 upgrades if I'm not going to really feed it with something at higher quality. And yeah, I've been doing a little bit more of uh, kind of disc ripping and setting up the local media servers, but I don't want to get into that full scale. This has been the solution for me for on the order of four or five years now and I, I wanted to continue but again I found the Strato S to be just too constrained so time to upgrade again I got the Strato C player and an individual Terra server so this is the newer model of the Terra server this is the compact version which I was very very much drawn to as soon as it was uh, announced and released last year from Cedia as a single hard drive smaller unit smaller chassis and I did opt for the 12 terabyte I thought about the 18 as well, but figure six was too small, 12, 12 will be pretty good. And particularly having double the space of the six in conjunction with you know sub 15 minute downloads, being able to cycle content faster reduces the need to have more stuff resident locally when you have such quicker access to, to other things that are in your account or in the store. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what we get. I have actually haven't had my hands on a compact Terra yet. As I mentioned, my former Terra server was the larger uh, the larger 24 terabyte version. 
So in here we have a little bit of documentation, a little blue to begin with guide and some compliance info. We have an ethernet cable. You will need to use wired ethernet to use this in your installation. And of course I'll be doing that. We have a power brick, external power brick. Um, this one has a little bit more of a dead, uh, I don't know what you would call this connector, one, two, three, four pin connector, decent sized brick. One of the things I'm interested to see as well, and I'm not sure how it exactly works, but with the rack mount kit, um, if it has provision to holding the power bricks that go with this stuff, because it's one thing to provide a rack mounting kit that holds the units nice and clean side by side, but then what do you do? Do you just dangle the power bricks off? So I'm hoping to see um, that kind of attention to design detail and a way to, to hold the power bricks in the rack mounts. Then of course the power cord for the other side of the power brick. And that's it, that's all that's in the box. Again, here we're talking about a movie server. This is the storage for the system and it's not the player. Kaleidoscape in their current product line as it is right now, does not offer a individual or standalone player slash server slash storage in one. That was the Strat OS. The Strat OS has been discontinued. Which had an unfortunate side effect of actually increasing the price of entry to the platform. But we'll see what they do with it. I think that there's merits in having the, the player and the storage separate, at least in their system, because this again is the only way to get those faster downloads. I found 45 minute downloads to be prohibitive to using the platform and having 10, 12, 15 minute downloads, it changes the character of the entire thing. So in addition to some other side benefits like being able to download while you're playing a movie, this, this standalone StratOS can't do that, but the separate Terrace can. We have here the front, not just the logo here, this one has the logo and it says Kaleidoscape written kind of side by side. It is a 1U unit. This is quite a bit deeper than the player. It's almost a little bigger than I kind of expected. So if we take a look at these, just for comparison, you can see not quite twice as long, but another maybe 30% longer. It is the same width, and of course they're both 1U units. Same build quality as the Strato C. Nice, hefty, solid, metal, brushed aluminum. And again, this is the 12 terabyte. I believe there's a single 12 terabyte drive in here. The six terabyte has a single six and the 18 has a single 18. Of course, commercial hard drives and such are available up to 18 or 20, 20 terabytes. We take a look at the back panel. We have our power connector, that four pin connection. We have ethernet, USB, and a service port, as well as that recessed reset button. So you would take this, connect it to your local network, again wired, you would take your Strato C player slash players if you're doing multiple zones, get those connected to your displays and your local wired network as well. They see each other uh, pretty much straight away. There's not a whole lot of setup to do. It's, it's very straightforward. In many cases, it's gonna be kind of potentially dealer supported or dealer installed. I will be setting this up myself as well. Nothing else really on the front, just a power button. But this thing will stay on most of the time. It kind of goes into a low power state or it might park the drive. But this is basically a media server on your local network, always available. The, the zone players will wake it up when they're accessed to show what movies are available and to trigger playback. The local player will play content that's stored here. Your downloads, whenever triggered, either uh, directly on device or from the phone app or from the web, will go to this in your system. And of course, if you want more storage, you could have multiples of these, or you could just buy the bigger ones. There's a lot of flexibility in the system when you have the storage decoupled from the players. And I think we're gonna see in the years ahead that kind of um, separate design structure evolve, where maybe we have different types of players with different capabilities, or Strato C Dolby Vision, whatever. We'll see where they go. Um, and we'll see where local storage goes as well, particularly in the long run. I'd really love Kaleidoscape to switch over to a play as you download type of structure so that you don't have to have these. You could just have the player with a little bit of solid state storage or such built in. That's a longer term ask, I think. 
So again, same build quality as the Strato C, same type of rubber feet. It'll look and fit nicely side by side right in the rack. That's the Terra server. 12 terabyte will hold about 200 4K movies. As I mentioned, I was a little constrained with the six. Of course, that's about 100 movies. 200 is quite a lot of content to choose from. And again, with a 10 minute download, 12 minute download, give or take, you can have additional content ready to go. Delete things, free up some space, re-download as you like, because whatever you own in the store is, is digitally yours and can be re-downloaded whenever, however, or as frequently as you like. If you have questions about Kaleidoscape, please ask them in the comments. Check out the other videos for the unboxing, hands-on kind of overview of the Strato C, as well as the, the rack system for both of these. And come on back for more. I plan to make a whole series of, of kind of ins and outs and pros and cons and set up and, and go over some of the unique and, and, and features and such that, that I really like about the platform, why I bought into it. And I've been, again, a Kaleidoscape user, a Kaleidoscape owner for probably like four four or five years or so. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Look down below for some ways to support the channel and check out the other Kaleidoscape unboxing videos. Thanks.